Hi everyone, welcome back. Sorry if I sound really like tired, I just literally woke up. So today's video is going to be another foundation review and it's going to be on the L'Oreal True Match foundation and the new True Match concealer as well. So in terms of shades, I got the shade Caramel I can see it. Caramel Toffee. That is 6.5D slash 6.5W. The concealer is 6.D slash W in Gold and Honey. But yeah, those are the shades that I got. It does look a bit light for me, but we're just going to see. I have swatched it on my hand, but I haven't really tried it. I did have the True Match Foundation, the older packaging one, but it was a bit too dark, and I don't believe I have a review on it because it was just way too dark and... I mean, I still wore it, but it, I think this would be a better match while well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to first moisturise my skin. I'm using the Garnier Moisture Bomb. Why is it so blue? There's not even that much SPF in it. And I'm just going in with my Skin Defence by The Body Shop. Because I feel like this foundation is going to be a tad bit light, I am going to go in with my colour corrector. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Corrector in orange. That's the shade of the foundation. It's quite gloopy. That doesn't look too bad. And also I have to take into consideration that my skin is tanned at the moment. I don't really match to my tan skin because, I mean I do have other darker foundations but like I want to be able to use it after like I lose my tan because I don't keep tans well. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend it all in. quite good actually yeah the one above which I was gonna initially take I just feel like it was just too bright and I just feel like anything that's tan toffee caramel or honey that's my colour so when I saw toffee golden toffee as well I just thought like that would be my colour and the one above looked very very dark I'm just going to put another layer I just hope that it will oxidise It's definitely like a, it has a, a dewiness to it. I mean, that's not bad. I would say it's got medium coverage, not necessarily full, because I had to, you could still see the corrector and my skin showing through the first layer. So even like light to medium, to me, light to medium coverage. And it does say to shake well. You know when you, you look at the bottle, it looks like it has a sparkle to it, but when you look on the skin, it's just, glowy it's not sparkly i think that's what gives the the dewiness to it it definitely feels hydrating like not cakey and it does build quite well and blend well even though i put two layers okay now onto the concealer this is what the concealer looks like and this is what the foundation looks like i'm sorry if i didn't show you before so again this is golden honey It's like it's like burning my eyes. It's definitely some sort of alcohol in it, which is so weird. Should we highlight the face?
So the colour above this concealer was, I think it was amber, and that was too, I could just tell on the picture, like it was going to be too dark. And I thought if I would like this concealer, I would be willing to get that darker shade and mix the two. But to be honest, like my first impression on this concealer is that it's like when you apply it, the alcohol goes into your eye and it kind of creates that weird sensation. Then when you apply it, it goes like sheer. I can see my skin through it. And like for me in a concealer, like I need absolute full coverage, definitely, because like I feel like I look still tired I mean I'm gonna try and put more but I just feel like maybe you can build on it I just feel like it's not that full coverage it does feel very wet as well very wet I love doing first impressions you know I find them so fun Look, I just look forward to what the product will be like on my skin, especially foundation and concealer reviews. Mm. I mean, that gave a bit more coverage. I'm just going to use my Banana Dreams Powder by W7. I'm just going to set that quickly. Mm. I'm just going to take a bit of the w 7 powder and just lightly, just lightly dust that all over because this... This is very chewy. I feel like it will melt off my face. This doesn't look that bad, but still, I just feel like I'm naked. I feel like my under eyes are naked. I can just instantly tell you, like, if you have, like, very pigmented under eyes or, like, darkness, I just don't think it will cover. I mean, for me, I don't have much pigmentation under my eyes. Like, it's because my eyes are so hollow, like, my under eyes go in, that gives a shadow. But my skin itself, under my skin, is not pigmented. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I've done the rest of my makeup and everything seems to apply it very nicely. My skin looks very nude, like, skin-like, natural, not cakey. It's very natural, like natural skin you know but there is makeup on it it's not like too obvious i mean you can tell i have makeup on but it's not it's just so weird like it just feels it just looks like skin you know so i really like the finish of it um it's definitely like a light to medium coverage foundation um the concealer's looking good but i just want to see how it looks at the end of the day that's the real question i mean so far it's a bit sheer for me I can still see a bit of darkness in this area here, but everything else looks nice. I think I don't really have much to say. I do look a tad bit ashy around here, but I'm hoping that throughout the day the foundation does oxidize a bit and, you know, just adapts to my skin tone because most of the times foundation do that on me. Please mind my eye makeup like I was, I'm like, I just couldn't be bothered today. You know when you just want to put eyeshadow in your crease? And that's it. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. That's the concealer. My forehead. So, so far I'm a bit mm, on the concealer. And I'm quite happy with the foundation. But we shall see how this looks by the end of the day. If you hear weird noises, my dog's just eating here. That's why there's weird noises. But anyways, I'm back guys. It's now 9 o'clock. I had this foundation since 7 a.m. before I went to work. Well, I woke up super early this morning. So it's been well over 12 hours. I really did put this foundation and concealer to the test. I'm just trying to examine, like, to be honest, when I looked at myself throughout the day in the mirror and stuff, I looked really like, I felt like I looked grey, like there was some greyish, pinkish tone to my skin and I really, really don't like that. I can also tell like here, my nose, bits here, it's like all faded, everything here is faded. I had major smile lines, I had to like kind of tap on them to make them go away so on that side of it, it didn't pass the test, like I do get smile lines with this. Uh, whilst with my Maybelline one, it was not that, it's not, it wasn't really there, there was like a little line, but I didn't touch it all day, and it was fine. But with this one, I had to go in two or three times just tapping it. So, I'm a bit disappointed with that. The concealer, I'm really not fond of. And to be honest, the creasing is not, there's no creasing. There's no creasing on me, but 
I just feel like the coverage is not enough for me and the colour, the coverage and the colour, it goes a bit greyish, like my face looks, on camera it doesn't, but on my face it just looks grey and I'm so sorry I didn't film outside daylight footage, it's now dark outside, so I do apologise about that, I'll try my best next time to remember. So it's failed longevity because it's gone patchy, it's failed the smile lines test, it's failed the colour test because it looks fine here but it looks very greyish in daylight, it wasn't warm enough for me. And then the shade above is too dark. I just know it's going to be too dark, so that's a shame. It is quite a dewy foundation, I do have to say that. But to be honest, I don't think I will ever wear the concealer again. And I don't think I would wear... I, I probably will give the foundation another go. But for now, like, I'm really not liking it. Like, with my first impression, it's not, it's not good. Like, I've definitely had foundations that look much better. Like, if you look here, all my foundation has faded away. And here. And it's just so, my face just, my skin just looks dull. It just looks dull. So I'll probably rate this foundation a 5 out of 10. The concealer's a 2 out of 10. I'm giving it some points because it didn't crease. But just, there's nothing that I like about it. I'm not going to use it. The foundation hasn't made my skin look its best compared to other foundations that I have, especially drugstore. Um, like my Maybelline one is a bit better than this one. I'm really, I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I don't want you guys to spend your money <clears throat> on something that doesn't really work and when there's like other products out there that work just as good and are affordable as well. I just don't think this is good. I mean, I'm gonna try the foundation again but the concealer is definitely a no-no for me. <laughs> it has got a good colour range so that's a good positive and I do appreciate that always and I will always support that but... You know when you're just that in between shade and you just can't find your colour? But this one was, it was my colour but it just looked very grey. I can't explain it. So, yeah, that's what my thoughts are on this foundation. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to ask me in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!